So the whole surface of the island is made from recycled materials. It's got about 150,000 plastic bottles underneath it. My name's Richard Sova. I was a carpenter basically for about 13 years. Then I got interested in the ecology and I just love experimenting and building things out of recycled materials. This is uh, something I made, a solar cooker. It just reflects the light and slowly cooks a wonderful cake that's been cooking for one year. Ooh, it's good. I can fly. So this is a little bottle boat. It's got about a thousand plastic bottles in it. And it's amazing because you never need to bail it out. And if it broke into even 10 pieces, every piece will float. But the coolest thing I ever made was my island floating on plastic bottles. It's got about 150,000 plastic bottles underneath it. So it's kind of solid, a little bit squidgy in places. It's a nice flexible floating surface, like a big raft. Then a house on top of that as well, and trees are growing. Works great. I started this island here in Mexico six and a half years ago and registered as an ecological boat with the maritime officials. So the whole surface of the island is made from recycled materials. Like the old pallets here, I get a bag of bottles and I just tie them on and just cover that. Turn it over onto the water, make another one and tie the pallets together. And then I cover it with sand. And then I plant, this is a baby mangrove. So all of this started from tiny little mangroves. So the roots of the mangroves go through here and weave through it all and make the island completely stronger. Underneath corals and sea life grows. Most countries in the world don't recycle and the population is expanding so fast. And in this way, uh, in many parts of the world, we can create more land, which gives oxygen back. Now this is a bag of trash that's uh, not gonna float very well. And I make raised beds all on the trash that doesn't float. So here now we've got a ginger plant, a tequila plant, agave, the hibiscus flower. It's tropical lettuce. Uh, I'm becoming slowly self-sufficient on the island. I sustain myself from tours. So I invite people over and experience the off the grid lifestyle. So this is my home. Come on in, welcome. Yeah, so we have a little kitchen here. It's kind of a nice size, you know, I can just reach around, get everything. Right now with the solar panels, it's enough to even cook. And this is a sink here for water. And the pipe goes up to a tank that's collected rain from the roof and it just comes down by gravity, no pumps. Okay, so this is the compost toilet. These fresh scented leaves cover it over. And then when it gets too high, I dig it out from the outside and can put it on the garden. So it's a little soil creating factory. This is our shower. It comes out through the shell, collected by the rain mostly. Ah, fresh. Well, the inside of the house is two levels. Then there's a, a top viewpoint. Most of the fresh water comes down these red waterproof strong sheets. Why would I buy it when it's right there? An island floating on plastic bottles is the coolest thing I ever made. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger wrap.